the Boxing Profiles. I'm your host, Tony Prince. How are you guys doing today? I know it's been a minute uh, since I put something out, but, um, you know, just trying to get through these uh, holidays here. But you know what? Today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, you guys know that I'm also a coach as well as a podcaster. Um, so when it comes to me doing the coaching, um, you know, I had the opportunity to do some work with some professional fighters and, and do mitts and pads with them. And I have to say that this is a, a great thing and I will continue doing this for other professional fighters as well as amateur fighters. Um, you know, so I would like for you guys to actually to um, um, give me some feedback and critiques on actual the pad work that you see that I'm doing with these fighters. I'm actually gonna show you guys a video here pretty soon of of the guys doing doing the work um you know there's a saying um uh, floyd mayweather he he says it all the time he says hard work and dedication you know that is going to make you as a fighter that stand out also your courage that you have inside of you that fire that burns inside of you for you to be a best you don't only have to be a boxer you could be any kind of athlete and have that burning desire to succeed. Well, the only way that you're going to succeed is by you putting in the work. Yes, I'm talking to you. That's right. I said it. I'm talking to you. You're watching this program and you're an athlete and you're trying to cut those corners to be successful. It's not going to work. You need to put in the work. Don't cheat yourself of a great victory or cheat yourself to become great. That is how great athletes are purged or forged through fire. Okay? Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Guys, my pad work is and mitt work is just like you're fighting somebody. So the pad work and the mitt work is going to be harder than the fight itself. Again, I said it a little bit earlier, hard work and dedication is going to make you stand apart, okay, from all other athletes. You have to put in the work. I cannot stress that enough. So when I'm dealing with a lot of these young fighters, yes, I make them put in the work. I hold them accountable as well as they hold me accountable to doing the mid work for them. You got to give 100% of yourself in order for people to be successful. Again, all athletes have to give 100% of themselves. Now that's just me talking to you athlete to coach. Okay. And then coach to athlete. All right, guys, that's all I got right now. Okay, I want you guys to check out this video. It's a video of me working with a professional fighter. And, you know, I'm putting this out there. Okay, um, I, I also, I train over at the Lion's Den in Pittsburgh, California. So if you're in the California area and you would like to come to the Lion's Den and you would like for me to do mitt works or paddles with you, I'll be there. Okay, you can reach me at 707-249-4718. That is my cell. You can contact me. That's my business line. You guys can contact me on that number. Or you can email me at boxingprofilestv at gmail.com. Folks, <clears throat> letting you know right now, very serious about my pad work and I'm putting in the work. If you're a fighter and you need a coach to do pad work with you or paddles, hit me up because it's real. All right, guys, without further ado, I want you guys to check out this video. I believe you're going to like this. In fact, let me let me rephrase that. I know you're going to like this. All right, guys, I'll catch you in a minute.
There you go. Woo! That was some good work. It was good pad work. Yeah. Uh, the fighter will be back next week, and we'll probably be, be doing some more pad work with the fighter, okay? And each day, I know he's going to improve, okay? So, you know, as you guys start to see it, you start to see that I mix in a offense and defense simultaneously, okay? And then you catch and shoot, and then you counter off the catch and the shoot. All right, folks. Hey, look. Boxing needs to evolve, and that's what I teach. I teach you how to evolve as a fighter to make you that much better because, number one, I'm giving you 100% of myself, so I expect, in return, 100% coming from you. That's right. I'm going to push you to a limit you've never been to before, and then we're going to find out how much courage you have because that's what champions do. They keep going when there is no end in sight, and they keep going to 100%. Are you a champion? If you are, come see me, because I'm going to push you to your limit and to make you great, because that's what the coaches do, and that's what fighters do. All right, guys, you guys have a great one. And remember something, keep punching, don't get punched drunk. Peace. I'm out. Also, folks, before I go, the gentleman in the white shirt that was sharing the ring with me is the former world champion, James Page. If you guys wanted to know what James Page is doing, James Page is in the gym and he's helping the community and helping local young fighters in Pittsburgh, California. That's right, folks. The former world champion, James Page, is at the Lions Den and he is helping in the lion's den as one of the coaches there okay so guys without further ado 
you guys continue to check out this channel. And if you guys like this sort of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. Hit the like button. Put hands on those buttons. You guys know me. It's all about the action and the talking part. If you want to talk, go to another channel. But here, I'm going to show you action because I know that's what, what boxing fans and hardcore boxing fans want to see. All right, guys. You guys have a great one. I already told you. Keep punching and don't get punched drunk. Peace. I'm out. Catch you in a minute.